Welcome to the Chris Morgan Fusion Mural Project by A.D. Spice. which I'll send to him and he can put it up somewhere so I've rolled it out there's the pens well some of them and I'm going to be using they're all permanent ink markers different nib widths find one there similar to what I use on the dolls so the question is what am I going to draw? Started down here. Uh, that's what you see. It's uh, it's random. So I kind of got to that bit. I thought, whoa, hang on a minute. I need to go up here. The beauty about these pens is that because they're permanent ink and they dry instantaneously. So if I'm doing some up here and I go down here and just do something here, and I go back up here again, which I tend to do that, and bring my hand down like that. Uh, it's not going to smear because it dries instantaneously, so good job really. I just draw it and I go down there, up there, I'm all over the place. Because my mind's seeing some sort of link, so, you know, I don't know where that, that sort of werewolf came from, but it just came. And then you get the head and then I'd stop there and then I decided to make it a mask. I don't know, I just don't know. If you ask me why, how, what goes through your mind, nothing particularly. <clears throat> I mean nothing specific and I wasn't thinking of a werewolf or a guy wearing a mask it just happens um, that's what this makes this I imagine so interesting for people because you don't know what you're gonna get
much panel filled now. That's about it. Right, what happens now? Um, a pen like that, which is a fine tip. And I'll go all over it again, looking for panels that I'll, uh, I'll just add a bit of texture to it, like this, this kind of thing. Shading, filling in, whatever you want to call it, dotting. Can take a while. I can't even wash it my hand now. One of these is dry. Now when these pens go dry, um, I don't chuck them, because they're very good for shading. That's what I did the lips here with and some of the texture in there with one of these which was about dead and I'll come back again and show you some more you can be pretty much done then pretty much done don't think any more I can do to it really it's uh, pretty much filled I mean you can spot bits forever really but you've got to have a cut off point where you say right and um, that's it really because there's a sort of random sketch fusion you could uh, end up filling it in forever literally because there's so much you can uh, keep seeing a bit I think oh yeah I can put a bit there shadowing <coughs> some bits the style is just block some bits shaded it's just various styles, all fused in. Try to blend everything so it links, so you've got like the pipe, black coming through there, linking to the splatter there. Uh, some people notice this, some people don't. <clears throat> the clouds going up here, going into some sort of splatter thing here, end up over there, which then joins to the guy pointing, uh, spraying some paint. Electric budgie. Don't ask me why, I don't know. But yeah. Um pretty much that's it. Now what I was telling you about the shading, you probably think, well, I can't see any difference. But it's just sh basically shadowing, like bit around the, just a bit of cheekbone there, even that just adds to the uh, the depth of it did more to the werewolf um, the machine here decided to blow bubbles out of it which goes behind the the, uh, the smash um, 
there's quite a lot of subliminal stuff in there as well. The idea is that once it's hanging, you can look at it and maybe th three or four weeks, months, whatever down the line, you think, oh, didn't notice that before. Which, that's how it is with the stuff I do. Same as on the wall here. Um, people come into my house, they've been there for years. Think, you know what, I've never noticed that before. Yeah, the usual thing. Which is good, which is exactly what I design it as, really, so. There you go, there you go, there you go. The Chris Morgan blind, the Chris Morgan 80s Pipes project is done. Thank you.